and we'll jog in three, two, one. Here's jogging. <laughs> it's really hard to keep it steady, holding it up and jogging at the same time. Hey everyone, I'm Ethan, and we're trying really hard to get our first 1,000 subscribers. So if you're liking our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Hey everyone, happy morning to you. It is a lovely Wednesday morning, and today we've got an unboxing to do. We received the Feutech Vlog Pocket 2 yesterday, and we're going to unbox this today and see if we can get it charged up and ready to take with us to... A water park today. Now it's April 2021 as of this recording and this unit is currently going for about 89 to 90 dollars US from what I've seen. Uh, it is a portrait and landscape pocket gimbal with a little tripod. Uh, it's, it's rather small so we're gonna see if it actually does fit in the pocket like the name suggests and we're gonna take it for a spin today. So let's start opening this puppy. Influencer recruitment. Cool. Got the quick start guide. Warranty card. And the unit. Looks like we've got a small tripod here. The handheld vlog unit itself and a carrying case. Ooh, it feels nice. Let's take this puppy out. Here's the tripod. I took it out and then I noticed that there's a cord down there as well. Here's the tripod. Plastic, but it feels good. About the right size. So here's the unit itself. It looks like it's got a lock mechanism there for you to lock it into place. Some instructions here. A little hard to read. I'll read those in a second. It says it can do portrait and landscape mode, so we'll see if we can get this set up. Controls on the side. All right, let's see if we can get this thing configured. All right, so there are instructions on how to place the phone inside the holder, which basically it says center it, which makes sense for balance. I also notice that this, this piece right here, uh, the notch can actually lock into place to hold it in place. Notice how it can't turn, but it comes out pretty easy there. And then the notch on the back just keeps it from spinning all the way around. So this just knocks it into place a little bit. It doesn't seem too tight, like it doesn't take much to get it out there. So we'll see how it performs when we've got the actual camera phone in it. So there's also a swivel access here where, see how it turns like that? And then there's a notch that keeps it going completely all the way around. So we'll see how that works here too. Power button on the side, USB charging port looks like right here. Okay, so we've got the app installed, but the gimbal and the app aren't connecting. So we're going to see if it's because this needs charging. It didn't say if it did, but we think it might be because when you hit the power button, the power light, which is right here next to the record button, just kind of flashes but turns off. So we're going to charge it up and see if it'll connect then. Just kind of going through the uh, <clears throat> quick start guide here while the unit charges. Just one observation is I wonder why they don't work 
with influencers in other countries to properly write their documentation. Notice number two here says, the product do not contact water or other liquid if the product is not marked waterproof. I mean, I'd, I'd be willing to go through the guide for them and help make it, you know, grammatically correct and not have punctuation and spelling issues and stuff like that. Just a thought. Hey everyone. So we've got the uh, gimbal all set up and I'm using it right now. And uh, so far it, it, it's got a pretty good first impression. It's, it is quite small even with the little tripod installed on it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a couple of laps down the block here in front of my house uh, with the gimbal and then without the gimbal and see how it looks. I've got an iPhone 12 Pro Max. So this is a pretty big phone. It's a little, as most gimbals are, it's a little close with the button. There's the power button on the top. Uh, if the gimbal, you know, touches that button, it wants to try and turn itself off. So I had to slide it over just slightly off center. So hopefully that doesn't affect it too much, but let's do some uh, laps down and back and see what the, uh, what the gimbal looks like. By the way, I've also got it set to track my face. So it's following my face, which is kind of cool. You can do object tracking. Uh, so that's what I've got enabled right now. So let's, let's check this thing out. All right. So here's our first run with the gimbal. I'm walking right now. Can you tell? I'm going to do a little bit of a jog here in three, two, one jog. Seems like it's a little tilted to the right. That might be a calibration thing that I can change. So let's go to the end of the block here. It's definitely tilted to the right. That might be a, something I need to change in settings. All right, next video will be us without the gimbal. Okay, now as you can see, I've got the phone out of the gimbal. I've got it in uh, 4K 60 frames per second, I think, at the 1X zoom, so kind of the, the default settings. Now I'm gonna walk and then run, well, jog, and we'll see what it looks like without the gimbal. So here's walking. Just walking along. I'm trying to keep it steady, but it's a little, it's a little tough. And we'll jog in three, two, one. Here's jogging. <laughs> it's really hard to keep it steady, holding it up and jogging at the same time. There we go. All right. We made it back. Let's compare. Okay. Um, so I did just kind of do a little sneak peek of the video comparison between the native iPhone 12 Pro Max video and the gimbal. And the there's definitely stability that's added by the iPhone itself without the gimbal. So the walking version looked pretty good. The running version, there was definitely a difference. Um, so uh, we're gonna take the gimbal to the beach today, I think. And we're gonna see, it's beeping at me. Why are you beeping at me? Why are you beeping at me? Don't beep at me. Uh, anyway, so you must not like that angle. I'm sure you probably heard it, but it keeps, keeps beeping at me. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna take to the beach today and see uh, what we can do. I must not like how I'm holding it. Weird. Might even need to do some more calibration here. We're going to the beach. We're going to take it with us. Uh, we're going to get some awesome shots from Cocoa Beach today. And
Bro, you got that okay? Got it? Need help? You got it there, muscles? Yeah. It's your muscles? <laughs> Everybody's allergic to Florida today. <sighs> Almost fell on my face. <laughs> Keep walking, baby. 